Welcome to Perfection's Clutch Training Lab. Today I'm going to demonstrate the correct technique to disconnect this line from this slave cylinder. If you use a special service tool that we provide with the kits, generally speaking, it'll snap out pretty easily. But if that line has been exposed to lots of road salt, road grime, or has been incorrectly serviced over the years, it can be virtually impossible to get the line to separate from the connector. That requires the additional expense of a new line, downtime while you're waiting for the parts, so Perfection looked at these systems and redesigned the connection system with the technician and the do-it-yourselfer in mind. We're now using an easy to remove clip. No special service tools required. No downtime with this one. Screwdriver, clip pops right out. And no modifications. Now in each one of these kits with this type of line system, we include a new sleeve and an O-ring that goes on the connector. When it's required, we provide a service tool so you can take the old system apart. But with our new clip system, no special tools, just a screwdriver. So we'll get started taking this apart, servicing the line, showing you some of the pitfalls that we've seen, and we'll service this system. Now to disconnect this system, we provide a tool in our kits and in our slave cylinders for these applications. You place the two prongs of the tool in between the sliding sleeve right here and the back flange of the coupler. Now I'm going to pull out on the bottom and it'll push the top in that pushes the barbs that lock that connector in place, pushes them off and allows the connection to come out. So let's try it on a real part. Place the tool in between the sliding sleeve and the back flange. All I'm going to do is pull out and it'll push in on the top and it disconnects. That's how this system is supposed to work. Now let me show you an older system and we'll see how to disconnect that one. Now I changed the line to an older line. I'm not even sure what year this line was used. But now you can see we no longer have that shoulder for the tool to push against. So that other system, pretty easy. One good push in the right place and it popped apart. Now with this one without the shoulder, a little different technique. We'll start by using the same tool and place it in between the sliding sleeve again and the back flange. I'm going to start to push it in, but this time I have to pack it all the way around. Very carefully push it in. Keep pushing it in. Then it's time for the screwdriver. At least this is how I found I can make it work. Push it in, go around and around, and in the back, and it pops out. This is a much more challenging connection to get out. Same principle, but later on they added that back flange, made it much easier. Now, with all these disconnect problems, let me show you what happens in the real world to these lines. Now we've got three line connections that didn't uh, work correctly. They tried to press the sliding sleeve in here using multiple tools. It's all chewed up. Looks like punches, screwdrivers, vice grips, who knows. They finally wound up breaking it off of the slave cylinder as they're trying to remove it. Remember they have to get this disconnected to remove the transmission so you got to do something here to get this apart. This time the line didn't cooperate. This one's off of a Chevrolet front wheel drive and the sliding sleeve, well it's all broken. There's nothing left of it. It's all chewed up in there. This is locked in pretty permanently. You would probably never be able to get that one apart. But I think this is the most creative one we've found so far. This is the Ford Ranger again. This would go in here. The sliding sleeve, they couldn't figure out how to get it to release, so they did something creative. We think what they did was they cut it off, took the transmission out, then they cut the line off of the barbed fitting right here. Then it was time to put it back together. There's vice grip marks right here and back here. We think they put a vice grip on the line, heated up the line with a little mini torch, and then force the line onto the fitting to try to complete the repair. It's all burned up right here. The correct way to service these will save you all these problems and the correct parts will save you all this problem too. Now this is a view looking down inside the two couplers. You can see this one has a large clip that goes all the way around and this one uses a series of small fingers. Those small fingers getting them to release the connector, that's the challenge to this system. We'll show you the clip system now. Now the hard work is over. 
We've installed the new slave cylinder, the new clutch, the new flywheel, and the transmission is back in. So I've got some details. In our kits, both clutch kits and slave cylinders for these applications, we've got an instruction sheet. Offers further information about servicing these systems. So let's take a look at what's on this instruction bulletin. In our kits, we also include the tool to disconnect the line where applicable. We include a new O-ring for the seal connection right here. And we include a new sleeve. Now on our new connection system, the sleeve is only there to help center the line. It's not necessary to be used to disconnect the line. We use the clip for that. So let's start to service this line. Going to pinch the O-ring, going to push the old O-ring off. Sometimes it helps to put a screwdriver underneath the sleeve, push that off. There's our new O-ring. We'll put that on and the new sleeve. So we're all set there. Now, we supply this with this protective shipping plug in place. Hopefully it stayed in place the whole time you were installing the transmission. It's there to keep dirt out. Now's the time to remove it. Remove the shipping plug. Please do not remove the clip. Just leave it right there. So from underneath the vehicle, center it up. One good push. Give a little tug and it's locked in. Should have heard a nice audible click as that clip locks onto the shoulder of that connector. We're going to complete the installation of the line into the slave cylinder coupling. Tim, you want to go ahead and insert the line, please? Push it in. Give it a good pull. Got a good click. If you need to reinsert the clip after removal, if you have the shipping plug, place that in position. Put the clip in the grooves and push it all the way across. If you no longer have the shipping plug, you can still reinsert the clip. Line it up so it goes across the grooves. Make sure it comes out on the other side so it doesn't go through the grooves and block the line from going to the body. It has to go parallel to the grooves. If you have any questions about this connection system, the slave cylinder, the clutch, the flywheel, the master cylinder, or bleeding the application you're working on, please call Perfection at 800-258-8312. Press 4. Your call will go to our tech support team. Tony, Steve, Bobby, or myself will be glad to take your call and help you out.